Robbie Christie and Colourpop collection. So I need to burp. <coughs> Hello, so for today's video, this is going to be look free for the Robbie Christie and Colourpop collection. So I do have the full collection and I've already done two looks. So I'll link those in the iron down below and stuff. The first video has swatches, prices and all of that good stuff. This is just getting to play with the palette more and doing different looks and stuff. So there is another two videos coming after this. So it's B5 days of back to back. Um, just so we can really get to play with everything in the collection. Like the liners and the super shock shadows and the glosses and things like that. And I want to give everything a fair chance. So what I have done, I have done brows, brow highlight and I've stuck some tape down but rather sticking it like quite an angle, I stuck it like angle-ish but like straight because we're going to do like this smoky situation like liner kind of thing, I know, I know what I want, okay. <laughs> um, so first of all this is going to be like really backwards but I'm actually going to cut the crease so I know where to put the shadows, it's just so much easier doing it this way rather than trying to just guess. Um, so I'm just going to take the Wet n Wild, this is the... Um, Photo focus, oh my god, I can't get my words out. Photo focus concealer. Um, it's in light ivory. If you're wondering, I don't love this concealer, but I just use it to cut the crease. So I'm just gonna zoom you in as well. Then I take that on a peaches and cream. This is a PC51 brush, and really make sure that that's just loaded up, like back and forth. And I take this. Place a bit of product down, look up, and then obviously where this line sits is where we're going to cut our crease to. So you can take it, your brush, and just sort of go ahead and pat along. Then when I come out to like this bit, I just take my brush, make sure it is loaded, my concealer, and just almost drag it out like that um it doesn't matter if it's like too perfect it's just a guide i'm just gonna go ahead and fill that in i'm just gonna take my finger just to pat this out slightly just so it's like not wet or super super wet now from the palette i'm gonna take let it rain which is this like gorgeous sequin shade if you can see i think it's like black with um i think it's like pink maybe copper shift so beautiful i'm really excited for this shade so i'm just going to take it on a spectrum a17 at first just to sort of draw in the line at the top just do it about halfway because we're going to take like a shimmer on the front and then because obviously we want the full effect of that glitter i'm going to pack it on so this is a crown brush c528 and we're just going to pack this on the rest of the eye. Just going to sort of take this brush and buff it. If it goes past the tape, I'm not overly bothered because when I remove it, I'll just clean it up. I just like that really pointed, fine edge. Then for lid shade, I'm going to take one of the Super Shock shadows. So this is in the shade Campfire, and I am super excited to use this shade. I feel like it's just going to really tie in with that shimmer ish that we got going on with the black as well just sort of really oh yeah just i love a copper shade <laughs> um so yeah i'm gonna take that on a pg of the cream this is a pc for one brush to start with um i probably will change over to a different brush just to really pack this on but it's just yet yeah, again to get really close to that line okay, i'm just gonna take the same brush over the lid and then i'm just gonna pack it on my finger after um, I feel like these work fine um, with a thing. They work best with your finger. But if you're going to use a brush because you really want precise detail, I would um, use a glitter primer. I used it in yesterday's video and it worked really, really well. Um, I should have used one now, but I was like, I just want to use it without one because obviously some people might not want to pick up one or whatever. I don't, I don't know. But, I mean, NYX is the best one that you can get and it's... Uh, it's pretty reasonable in price. So now I'm just going to take my finger, obviously in the campfire shade. Oh, these feel so soft. And just like pat this on the best that I can. Then I'm just going to take that crown brush and just buff these in together. So there's no extra product on it, it's just whatever's left over. 
and just drag this. Then you can also take the little brush that you put on the um, shadow with and you can sort of just drag that over, like whatever's left over on the brush. So that's it for eyes for now. So easy, just so simple. Sank like smoky, but like less effort. Um, I love these kind of looks. I think they're super, super gorgeous. So I'm obviously going to do the other eye off camera and apply lashes, my base, and then we'll come back, obviously do lips and finish the eyes. So for lashes, I'm going to take these. So these are the Unicorn Lashes in Cherry Top. And these are like my ultimate lash. I love these so much. So yeah, I'm going to quickly do that and I'll be back. Okay, so now that the rest of my face is on, everything I'm wearing will be listed in the bottom bar. We're going to complete the eyes. See, the thing is, I like how like this opens up the eyes, but sometimes I like to like drag it in. We'll drag it under, yeah. So let's take Let It Rain again on the Spectrum A17 that we used. I'm going to keep this quite close to the lash line to begin with, and then we'll think about maybe smoking it out a little bit. Um, so it's just going to come halfway in because we're going to take that copper shade through the rest. I'm just going to take the crown brush and just buff this slightly. Now we're going to take Campfire, which was the Super Shock Shadow. On that, um, what's this Peaches and Cream? This is the PC51 brush. No, PC41 brush, sorry, not Fire One. And just take that through the rest of the eye. Oh. Then I'm going to take the cream gel eyeliner. So this is in Woodsy. And don't twist this too far up because it will snap. So just a little bit. And we're just going to pop that on the waterline. If you wanted to, you could take, obviously, a black or something. But I feel like brown just is a little bit softer. I know, like, we have a lot of black going on already. So we don't want to close off the eyes too much. Especially because my eyes are not the biggest either. Um, so what is next? Highlight. We'll highlight the inner corner. So for the face highlight, I do have the Ofra highlighter in Star Island. It just looks like so. So I'm just going to take that on the Spectrum A12 and just pop that on the inner corners. Then I'm just going to take some lower Lash Mascara. So this is the KBD Go Big or Go Home. But you're literally going to see none of this. You can see it on my head. Okay, so for liquid lips, before we go ahead and apply gloss, I'm thinking black because we have something quite dark on. I was like, yeah, I'll go for a nude. But when I've got like a dark eye on, like I do enjoy a dark lip, especially black. So yeah, this is from Luna Beauty and this is in the shade Wicked. Um, so I'm going to apply this to the lips. This does need a few coats to be fully black, but not like... I'm not talking like hundreds, but you do need to build it up a little bit. So I'd let, I put a layer on, let it dry and then go in for another layer before like, because if it's wet and you start moving it about, it just moves about even more and it's a whole big thing, but they are gorgeous and they smell divine by the way. So I'm just going to do this. Okay, so this is two layers and then the outer bit's like a third because I was trying to just line it up a little bit, but I think... We're good. Very black. Super, super nice. Um, They're not very dry at all. Uh, the only issue is, I wouldn't say it lasts very long on the lips. Like I have worn it on its own before, and I remember eating a burger, and it was just all over my chin. But this is probably the most beautiful black lipstick you'll find. I'm just saying. So now we're going to obviously go into the gloss. So this is the Lux Gloss, and this is in the shade Glacier. Um, so I'm just going to put this on top. Okay, so this is the finished look, and I love how it turned out. I think it's super, super gorgeous. Proper dark, smoky eye and like dark lip, just like very like bold, dark. Oh, I love it. So yeah, don't forget to come back tomorrow because we're gonna have a different look. I'm thinking maybe something with the shimmers, like from the palette, like some sort of cut crease with like the yellow and green. I don't really know too much yet, but. Hopefully you can't hear that noise. But yeah, don't forget to come back. And I hope you enjoyed the video.